So you booked your trip to Paris and now you're deciding on what to do when you get there. Could the big bus tour be one of those things? Stick around and I'm going to tell you the good and the not so good about the big bus tour in Paris. <laughs> So on a recent trip to Paris, my wife and I decided to go down and check out the big bus tour. You know, the double-decker bus, the hop-on, hop-off bus. It doesn't get any more touristy than this bus, right? And we were kind of surprised at how much we really liked this bus tour. So here's some of the good things about the bus tour. So number one is you're going to see some of the most popular landmarks and museums in Paris. And as a matter of fact, some of the most popular in the world when you hop on this bus. So what we recommend is actually doing this your first full day in Paris because it gives you a good feel for several arrondissements, for several landmarks and where they're located. It kind of gives you a feel for the vibe that each of those arrondissements have because they're all a little different. And so it's a good thing to do. So I recommend hopping on the red line. Just stay on the red line the entire time. Don't hop off, just stay on the entire route so that you can get a good feel for it and then decide what you want to do and where you want to hop on, where you want to hop off and how you want to go about that. So one of the places that the bus stops is actually the Louvre Museum, which is actually one of the most popular museums in the world because it houses one of the most famous paintings in the world, the Mona Lisa, which we were really excited to get to see ourselves. That's worth the trip to Paris right there. It also makes a stop at the famous Notre Dame or Notre Dame, depending on where you're from. If you're from the South and U.S., it's the Notre Dame, right? But it's the home to the famous character that we all know and love, Quasimoto. But I looked for him while we were there and I didn't see him, so I guess that means I have to go back and look for him again. Maybe, I don't know. You also get a stop, if you so choose to, at the Museum d'Orsay which I actually found to be really good. I'm not a major art lover, but I mean, I appreciate it, but I was kind of uh, a little bit beside myself uh, looking at some of these famous pieces of art. And so I found that to be kind of thrilling, to be honest with you. So it's definitely worth a stop. So you'll be able to stop at places like the Opera House if you so choose to, which is a really cool place that you can go inside and check it out at some of the best architecture in Paris. Also the Grand Palace, uh, you'll go across this, the Seine River several times, which is beautiful in that setting. That is really cool. You'll be able to go down to Champs de and uh, hopefully I'm saying that right. My French is horrible, but nonetheless, it has tons of shops down that street, most of which are very expensive. Um, and so if that's what you love to do, maybe you just like to window shop, that's a great place to go. But you'll get to see the Arc de Triomphe, which we stopped and went in and did you know that has a lot of steps that goes up to the to the top and so uh, be prepared for that take your hiking boots and be ready to walk those steps but it was totally worth it so one of the most popular stops obviously in paris on the big bus tour is the eiffel tower you may have heard of it there's a few stops that are near the eiffel tower uh, and they're really good because it gives you different views of the eiffel tower and obviously different selfie moments and different photo opportunities and some different types of things based on where you stop because there may be lots of food at one or museums at another but it's a really 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 cool part of the big bus tour so the second thing we really liked about the bus tour was the live guides as a matter of fact we really liked that a lot it's one of the reasons why we would recommend getting on the bus and staying on the bus for one full route so that you can get to listen to the live guide as they share about different places within the city and different information and history and some funny facts and stuff like that. And she actually uh, enlightened us in regards to the fact that um, there was actually still lots of gold in places in Paris, uh, in locations that are with, out of human reach without some type of uh, machinery or some type of equipment to be able to get you there like the tops of buildings and, and things like that. Four letters, W-I-F-I, Wi-Fi. Most all the buses had Wi-Fi, which is really awesome because as you're traveling around, you wanna post your Instagram stories, you wanna post your Instagram pics, you wanna post on Facebook, or you wanna do a Snapchat or whatever it is, you've got Wi-Fi right there under you as you go down the road, which is really awesome, right? Or you can just wait until you get back to the hotel room, but why wait when you've got Wi-Fi on the bus, right? It's really great.
So what about some drawbacks? My wife and I aren't very negative people, uh, but there's still some drawbacks, but not really major ones. But one of them is the fact that it is a tourist bus and it does make stops. So that means that you're not going to get from point A to point F or whatever really fast because some of the stops are a few minutes, five minutes, sometimes maybe even a little longer because you're waiting on people to get off and you're waiting on other people to get on and the bus is on a schedule. So don't plan on getting anywhere in a major hurry. If you're in a hurry, maybe you should download the Uber app and go that route which we did a few times and we actually enjoyed it. So another negative thing, and I think these negative things are actually kind of petty, but one is that uh, the bus doesn't run real late. So if you're out and about and it's say seven o'clock, uh, you're not gonna be catching that big bus back because it's already stopped. Uh, so be prepared for that. Be ready to take public transit, be ready to take an Uber, both of which we had very positive experiences with while we were in Paris, both of which are very affordable and very cheap. So the big question, would we do it again? Absolutely, we would do it again. We thoroughly enjoyed our time on the big bus tour. Is it touristy? Heck yeah, it's touristy, but we're tourists. That's what we're doing there is to tour and what better way to do it than to have a bus that's double-decker and you've got the air blowing through your hair, if you've got hair, and you've got somebody that's guiding you through live and telling you about historic things in Paris and sharing a good laugh with you occasionally. So I have a feeling that you, like us, are going to enjoy your time on the big bus. Hey, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And you may also want to check out the other videos in this playlist that we made while we were in Paris.